Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. Geomagnetic Storm Watch NOAA forecasters say that minor G1-class geomagnetic storms are possible on February 20 when a CME launched by Friday's X2-class solar flare reaches Earth. Take a look at this model of the CME. It predicts a direct hit. If so, the impact could produce a stronger G2 or G3 storm. Up next, we'll take a look at the LASCOC2 filter. 18th through the 19th, and as you can see, the sun is full of activity erupting with multiple CME in every direction. The seeds filter gives a better view of the CME. It makes the subtle nuances of the CME easier to see. Eruptions from the 18th through 19th. This CME model shows the direction of the CME from the 18th, and it looks like the BEPI and Parker SP satellites get a dose of solar radiation, while Venus gets a glancing blow. Cosmic Zen when the sun goes down tonight, step outside and look west. Venus and Jupiter are shining brightly in the twilight sky, converging for a close encounter less than two weeks from now. Ruslan Mertzliakov sends this picture from Landjaren, Spain. At closest approach on March 1st, the two planets will be just 0.5 degrees apart, a beautiful pairing and one of the best astrophoto ops of 2023. Now here's a look at an interesting plasma ejection from sunspot 3229 observed on the SDO 171 filter notice the magnetic loops right before plasma is ejected off the sun here is the same area shown with the SDO 304 filter and the plasma can be seen being pulled back to the surface of the sun and for the lunar observers the moon is in the waning crescent phase illumination 1% and as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah. Yeah.